having a good time talking about this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to blend this in. I think I put Yeah, so that's some white. green. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it does help. Sometimes it helps to turn sideways, and then sometimes it's, you can't see what's happening if it's sideways. Now, how, think about your painting. Yes. Or do you want a flat plane, or do you want hills? Do you want a hill? Oh. oh. Now, I'm only, you don't yeah, have to have a hill. Um, I have a hill. I would like to clean this up. I was just trying to fill in the areas. But I realized I did not. We're gonna go back and Girl, cover this. I don't those. know where that green. <laughs> Y'all do just... not want to see this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a work in progress. W I P hashtag W I P. It is a work in progress. Do not even worry about it. Mm. Mm. I'm just. Like... <laughs> just... I'm like, We're gonna go back minute. and cover I, that up. I need to. I was like, oh, I'm just going to fill in that. Little. Because I told you to fill in. And I did. She was doing what I said. Yeah. What I didn't realize, yeah, is, okay. yeah. Yeah. But I, I like, oh, and you add some yellow there. I so did. that's I added pretty. Some hints but of no, yellow. I would like a, a, a valley, you said, or a. Well, so there's going to be a valley. That, here, I'm going to hold up this painting so everyone can see it. Because now we're just having this okay. conversation. Yes. Um, and no one can see. Oh, there's purple in there. Yeah. Okay. So, and in my classes too, I tell people they can change up the paintings as they right. like. So yeah. you don't have to do any of this or you can do all of it. Um, but, so we have a hill in the foreground. These, ba these mountains are in the background and I imagine there's a valley down here. What's happening with this? I don't know. These might be just hills in shadow. I'm not even sure. Um, when I did this class the other day, um, with some some actually some teachers at uh, a high school in Denver I go teach the teachers sometimes oh very um, nice which is actually it's more it's not a teaching thing it's it's a uh, sort of a de-stress oh let's support the teachers and that's great they've had a rough I day and we're that. gonna help them to relax yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but one of the teachers <clears throat> put a lake so there was some grass oh. in front and a lake right in here it was beautiful and really the mountains came to the foot of the lake. So that's something you can that's do. That's nice, yeah. And it might emerge as you go. Yeah. You know? That's what's great about this painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can keep adding. I like the flowers yes. coming up here. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I like to get it okay, somewhere so there. If you yeah. were going to, my, okay, so my question initially about the hill is, I was going to say, if you were going to do a hill, you should start doing some brush strokes, like going in a hilly and it doesn't have to even be any higher. You can just make it. Now, because right now it looks like you've got a flat plane, which looks great too. I do like the hill, though. I okay. Not, we'll just yeah. do some curved okay. strokes. Okay. Now I And they don't it. have to be super curved. I don't curved. want any more white on here. Um, yeah, I'll get you some more green. They don't have to be super curved like that either. They can be. It can be more gentle. A gentle slope, if you want. Let's see what happens. And if your paint is drying, this is a tip for everyone um, with acrylic paints. You can blend into the acrylic paint if it's still wet, or you can paint over it if it's dry. But if it's drying and getting, uh, if it's setting up and okay. it's still a little sticky mm -hmm. and tacky, you start to paint, mm -hmm. it'll start to clump up. Right. Or you'll start pulling some off. Yes. You need to just stop what you're doing and let it dry because it'll... It's like putting nail polish on before oh, the other layers dry. Yeah, and, and then, then it, it gets, gets all weird clumpy. Yeah. and sticky. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. okay, so I want to talk a minute about instant gratification. Mm. Because we are in an instant gratification society, and it is bad. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think it damages um, people's... Uh, well, I, I, expectations. I was going right. to say damages their expectations, but I think expectations are uh, pretty bad anyway. You mm -hmm. know, especially with painting. You know, if you come in expecting to paint a masterpiece, because sometimes mm -hmm. uh, painting studios will say that, "Come paint your masterpiece." Right. You know? And Ooh. I'm like, well, you kind of are. It's mm -hmm. your masterpiece. Mm -hmm. It's not going to look like an old master's painting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not mm -hmm. going to look like. Um, 
or what someone else would see as a right. masterpiece That's versus a good point. like how That's does a good it point. how does it really feel for Ooh, you I like versus that. what does yes. it feel for somebody else yes. and that's a hard one yeah you know like yeah. and then circling back to the instant gratification like the I need this to work now I want the results to work now right we Even want instant instant results mm -hmm. and I just have to say that yeah. your painting is your painting you don't need yeah. to show it to <clears throat> anyone if you love it mm. and hold it dear only show it to the people you trust Oh, you know, yeah, I love that. Yeah, and I feel the same way about um, uh, because I am on a very slow mission to be healthy. It's yeah. slow going, and I'm trying mm -hmm. to be kind to myself and forgive myself. Um, but I don't tell a lot of people about it <laughs> <It's> your, <laughs> until <yeah>. now. <laughs> mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's mine. You know, right. I don't need someone saying, "Well, you know." You know, critiquing my food like right. they might critique your painting. Yeah. The unsolicited advice on yes, no, thank you. You could just keep that. We we can go to commercial break on that. Because <laughs> it is right. You don't want that unsolicited advice. Like right. if you're telling me about what you're doing, like oh, so Terry, I went out and I went on the treadmill today. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should have done this, right. this, and this with that. Right. That disrupts. That's Your not flow. helpful. Right. It's not yeah. helpful. Well, they'll say things like, well, you know, if you don't get your heart rate up to a certain amount right. and, you know, work out for a certain amount of right. time, you're not doing any good, which is right. completely wrong. Yeah. And I, I'm just going to say people have different um, reasons for being at the gym. And my first, first intent being mm -hmm. on the treadmill mm -hmm. is flexibility. Oh, okay. I have okay. arthritis and I need to move, literally just move my body mm -hmm. and get to the point where I'm, my body's, my joints are loose enough and I'm feeling good, you know, and free. That's great. That's yeah. my primary, very first, you know, second intent. Yeah. I'd love to burn calories. I'd love to lose weight, but I want to be healthy more than any of that. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. So I imagine the same is true for nutrition. Everyone's yeah. got different goals. And see, so you already told me all of your goals. Mm. And so I would just, I would just work with that. I'm yeah. like, okay, there you like, go. tell me more about that. Um, it's interesting because a doctor um, that I used to work with and you had people that come in with arthritis, one of the biggest things that people may not be aware of is movement mm -hmm. is so important. Right. Even if it's through the pain is movement. So I'm glad that wow. you, you brought that up too. Interesting. Yeah. Moving through Cause the pain. It, it can help kind of loosen it up. Not to the point where you're going to strain yourself. You don't want to hurt yourself, mm -hmm. but if it's tolerable mm -hmm. and you can move through it, you know? Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. So one of the things we talked about last time <clears throat> that, it, it just astounds me that I didn't know this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, painting through it. I tell people, mm. like I said earlier, you get to a certain point in your painting, you want to give up, you have to push through it. Uh -huh. You can do this, right? Yeah. Um, last year I was doing some yoga and I was having pain, so I stopped. I'm like, you're not supposed to have pain. And I asked my yogi friend and she said, you know, you actually... Um, Sometimes you have to work through the pain, not extreme, but once your body gets mm -hmm. used to doing those movements, the pain will go away. And then last time I saw you, you said the same thing about mm -hmm. nutrition, about mm -hmm. eating well. And that just blew my mind mm -hmm. that you said, well, it gets easier and it can even get fun. It can, right. It eating can... right can be fun. She says fun. I don't know. <laughs> Talk to me. Well, it can get fun because what could happen is it's almost like with your whole wellness anyway. So you are going to incorporate new eating habits, mm -hmm. you know, along with creating like a new um, uh, physical activity, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. you've incorporated along with whatever other wellness that you want to add to that. Um and so as you start doing it more and you start to see like results, yeah. like when people start to yeah. see results, it's kind of like you said with pushing through like the painting. Yeah. When I start to see results, when I go, Ooh, Ooh. Tap with that. oh, that was Ooh, good. Look what I, did. Um, I want to keep trying more yeah. new things. Right. And then you're more, you're going to 
want to have more right. fun to it to the point where you could come to me and say, Satira, I tried this, this, yes. and this. Yes. You know? And now I think I'm going to use this. What else is possible? Right. What else? Keep going. If I like quinoa, who knows what I might like. Right. I don't know. Or what, or, or what are some other ways there. you can... No, quinoa is good. <laughs> <laughs> quinoa is good. And it's yeah. very versatile because yeah. you can add it to salads. You can add it to right. soups. You can do like stir fry with that. You mm. could come up with so many mm. creative ways of having fun with quinoa that can be cost effective yeah. too because you're not trying to make all these different things mm -hmm. you know you mm -hmm. can just make like maybe one big pot of that yeah. and then just use it up in various different ways which is one of the tips you know is that's a good tip too is like if you're not used to eating certain way maybe like pick out one good vegetable that you yes. haven't tried before Ooh, okay something that you haven't tried okay. before Try it in many different ways. Experiment yeah. experiment with it for like maybe like a week. Yeah. Or a month or so. Okay. Find different ways and then try another new vegetable. Keep like incorporating right. Right. new things. Because you don't know. Like sometimes you look at stuff and you're just like, I know that's not going to be good. Right? That doesn't even look like it tastes good. Until you find ways of preparing it. Preparing it. Can yeah. I tell you a story? Please. <laughs> All right. I had that experience recently. Okay. Because I made Easter brunch Yay. for my boyfriend, his daughter, and okay. his mother. And I've never done this. I didn't come yeah. from an Easter celebrating family. Yeah. So this, this was all new. And I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. So everything I made, I had never made before, which was kind of brave. But um, one of the things I got were those rainbow colored carrots. Those okay. Organic yes. Rainbow I know carrots. exactly what you're talking. They were about. so pretty. Yeah. I thought. Let's yeah. try them. Yeah. Oh, they were so good. I threw those things on a pan. Threw some olive oil on there. Mm -hmm. Some salt. Roasted them. They were delicious. Delicious. The way you describe it sounds good. <laughs> I'm like, I wish I was over there. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. I was shocked. I wow. tasted one of those, and I have always hated it cooked carrots. Okay, but mm, but that carrots. you found a way that worked for you that you really case and who standpoint. else who else knows what you're gonna come up with That's with right. those roasted carrots? If I like roasted rainbow carrots. Who knows what else I like? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's the mm. point. Yeah. And by the way, cooked spinach. What? When I was a kid, we used to eat that stuff. I didn't chew it. It was so disgusting. <laughs> Yeah. I would try and swallow that stuff whole. So do you eat spinach now? I make myself some cooked spinach. Oh, I, okay. Oh, it is so delicious. Oh, you love it. Are yeah. you kidding me? Okay. I'm like, why don't I eat this every single mm -hmm. day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So So discovering some other stuff. So can I ask you what what's the most frustrating thing about health, wellness, nutrition? What's what's the most frustrating thing for you? Or things that you may even see like you read about and it frustrates you. Well, I don't like all the conflicting reports. Okay. What's healthy this week is not mm -hmm. healthy the next week. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to mm -hmm. believe. You don't know who's mm -hmm. paid for the survey. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what big corporation or um, interests, wealthy interests have paid to right. skew yeah. the survey. Mm -hmm. um, I had a student who was who used to do, uh, she was a scientist and she used to do <clears throat> studies and she said it was so corrupt, she quit. Yeah. She quit yeah. to go, was she an actress? I don't remember what she was doing. Mm -hmm. But I, I just, I don't know what to trust, right? Mm, and I, okay. I also feel like everybody's, every body is different. So what's good for you might not be good for me. Absolutely. And yeah. that's when we talked about bio-individual, what's going to work for you right. may not, you know, be tolerable yeah. for me, you know, and our taste buds are different yeah. and our, yeah, yeah everything is it's so, just, yeah. Yeah. There's so much to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, w I was just curious about that, you yeah. know, because I think that could be... And that doesn't sound unfamiliar to me because yeah. I think that can frustrate a lot of people is that there's so many different like diets out there. Mm -hmm. There's so many different theories out there um, and there's so many different ways to go about it. Yeah. And then yeah. you yeah, read yeah. about it and then you're like, well, which one 
do I use? If right. you have to use any, right? You know, right. or it's like, or do I just do Tabitha's health program? Right. You know, yeah. What does Tabitha's health program consist of for Tabitha? That's going to keep this ongoing, a lifelong, sustainable. Sustainable yeah. is the big word. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is the most important word, I think, because if it's not sustainable, right, we're not going to do it. Right. Yeah. 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 And then I think that's when we started talking about experimenting, mm -hmm. you know, just yeah. seeing like what works, right. you know, and then what, what doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because you want to enjoy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that goes right back to the um, baby steps and supporting people rather than putting them down. Right. You right. Know? They're yeah. not going to continue on with it, mm -hmm. even if it's healthy. Because for some reason in our society, we have a hard time doing things that are good for us. Yes. You know, hard yeah. time eating right, hard time getting to, yeah. to the canvas, even if, you know, mm -hmm. you have all your supplies and mm -hmm. you can paint at home. We mm -hmm. have a hard time doing it sometimes. Yeah. Hard time exercising. What is up with that? Well, you know, as you were saying it, I was kind of thinking the same thing because I wonder... If we have as a whole a hard time with self-care mm -hmm. period yeah. because eating well doing things that are going to be good for you mm -hmm. it's to me it's all part of self-care like yes. this is part of the wow. self-care and um, are we not taking care of ourselves enough or you hear a lot about I don't have time right I don't have time for self-care right. how do we incorporate more time because if you can fit in more time it opens up it does actually open up more space for everything else you That's know right. that is right so you're not you overdo better. it you <clears throat> perform it right. so right. like you said you go to the trip how did you feel after the workout I felt good. And often though, when mm -hmm. I, I feel good, it's because I feel good psychologically. Mm -hmm. The fact that mm -hmm. I did it makes me feel good because I'm proud of myself. Yeah. 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 And I think that's what I was thinking too. You know, like I had my workout this morning, I meditated this morning, mm. and then I felt like I could be better prepared for my day so mm -hmm. that it's not this long, right. prolonged day where I'm just sitting there lethargic. You're able to do more yeah. things efficiently when you feel, who doesn't right. want to feel better? I don't think that's not, that's not the issue. You know, who mm -hmm. doesn't want to feel well? I wonder if it's like, how do you feel well? How do I get myself going? I don't, I, the tools are there, but I don't know which tool. Right. I don't know which paintbrush. That's I right. don't know which That's one right. to I tried use. this paintbrush and it didn't work, mm -hmm. so I can't paint. I can't paint. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then that's where you come in, kind of coaching me, yeah. seeing like no, no, which no, no, one. No, 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 Try this paintbrush. Try, try this one. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Mm hmm That is absolutely right. And then right. to keep going. I yeah. think that could be hard. Yeah. You know, it's just like, how do you keep it going even on the most challenging days, that's where right. I feel like self-care really, really test us. And yeah. that's where health really test us is on those days. Do I want to go to the, and the thing right. is too, I wonder is if, excuse me, I have mm -mm, no, like, no, you're fine. is I, um, is not to like beat yourself up, but right. to be kind, be kind to yourself. If you wake up one day and you say, you know what, I think I just want to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Well, and maybe your body's telling you you yeah. need to sleep for that matter. And you just honor, yeah. you honor it. You honor it. You honor like where you are. And maybe yeah. know the difference between just needing to sleep in and having fear. The difference between sleeping in and having fear Ooh. or That's reluctance tough, tough. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know? Mm, and knowing, yeah, what the difference is. Am I not doing this because my body is just like, is it an intuitive thing right. versus I'm scared, but maybe I should push through the fear, but maybe I don't want to. Because, you know, have you ever done things? And I've had those moments where I didn't feel like working out or mm -hmm. feel like meditating mm -hmm. even. And, mm -hmm. I, and I'll do it and then I feel right. better for it. We fight this stuff. I think sometimes yeah. we want to feel bad. I think we want to either punish <clears throat> ourselves for something or I, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. 
But I think yeah. what this all boils down to is having a practice. Yes. Yeah. Wellness is a practice. Meditation is a practice. It's a practice. Exercise, Ooh, eating well, like that. Yeah. art, creativity. Mm -hmm. It's all a practice. It's all a practice. Which means you have to do it every day. Yeah. And it's hard in the beginning. Yeah. It's hard in the beginning. And you mm -hmm. just have to keep going, keep going, keep going, mm -hmm. keep going. And yeah. trust, have faith that it's going to it's Work going out. to yeah yeah because yeah, even in those moments where you may not feel it it's mm -hmm. actually working mm -hmm. even if you don't always feel it remember right. how you were saying about the art student yeah. he still was showing up right you know yeah. but maybe yeah oh i'm not that good of a right yeah right i'm bad at this mm -hmm. i'm bad at this but it's still showing up. But you're up. still showing up. Right. And change that self-talk for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> for your sake, just stop yeah. saying I'm bad. Yeah. I can't eat right. Mm -hmm. uh, stop beating yourself up. Mm -hmm. Say I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Learning, yeah. I'm learning. Give yourself some new words. New words yeah. are so powerful. The, the oh, words we say to ourselves. That's like a whole other... Mm -hmm. other Would you say that to your friend? You Say what to a friend? You can't eat right. You don't know how to do this. I have never even... You would never think of that. I, that does not... You would never say, what's wrong? With, this is what we say to ourselves. What is wrong with you? Why can't you do this? Yeah. You would never say that to someone else. No. No. And so not that... Why say it yourself? Yeah, why not say it you too. do, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, that doesn't even come to mind. Yeah. I'm just thinking, if anything, how... How can I best support you? Right. on your journey mm -hmm. nice how can I best support you yeah. and what is that what does that look like for you mm -hmm. yeah That's the other yeah. question what does that look like yeah and sometimes so that is why you're a coach mm -hmm. um, or not why but that's how you're a coach partially and but sometimes you have to coach yourself you know yes not you but everyone when you're not around to tell me okay how can we do this i'm here to support you yeah you have to do i have to do it myself that's the that's the one thing about coaching too is that who's your support system outside of this because mm. i'm not going to be with you 24 7 right. so who is your support system? what's yeah. that what even if it's just one person right you know that you know is really good at getting you mo in a healthy way yeah not about giving unsolicited right. advice like right. we talked about yeah. yeah but about like just like hey you want to go for a walk mm -hmm. you know some mm -hmm. people have walking buddies right you know yeah. or they have different people in different areas or spaces in yeah. their lives to help them get motivated so who who would be like that one person to help you that you know you guys can do this yeah. together well you know what's nice about that about having a walking buddy also an, an added bonus is that if you don't have time to see your friends which mm -hmm. happens sometimes too busy oh. oh let's try and get together yeah walk instead of sitting there having coffee go out for a walk and catch up that's such a great that's a really great tip to have i've that. done it i like that i've done it yeah sometimes i'd rather sit and have coffee though but almost like a walk and coffee Coffee and walk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if we were an 80 or a 90 sitcom, that that would be our, our little catch phrase, catch not phrase, but right? would be like, like <laughs> Yes. Let's talk about yes. how to get a hold of Satira <laughs> in case you want to hire her as your health coach. Yeah. Or get hooked up with a newsletter. Um, what's your website? So my website, it's called The Wellness Journey. Mm. Yeah. I love that. See, it's yeah. a journey. It's a, it really is, yeah. you know, and it never really stops. It yeah. just, you know, takes you in different areas, different paths, but I'm here as support, you mm -hmm. know, like I always mm -hmm. say, I'm here at, to support you along the way to assist you, the coaching, mm -hmm. like we Wonderful. talked about too. Yes, yes. And um, so the website, um, you can find me at thewellnessjourney.me. Dot me? Yes. Mm, yes. I so thewellnessjourney.me. Um, yeah. Nice. So, and I'll be getting other stuff up pretty soon. Yeah. I'll be having like a separate Facebook page, you know. Go ahead. Sorry. Well, no, I don't want to interrupt, but I do want to get to your upcoming workshop. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. So, 
Along with the website, I have um, putting together a wellness workshop. It's going to be called The Art of Wellness. See how that works? See how the that art works? Of wellness. The art yes. of wellness because I really do feel like you kind of have to bring in your own creativity on what's going to work mm. for you on how to optimize on your health yeah. journey. Yeah. Um, oh. And so my, you know, so it is sort of be like an intro, mm -hmm. introduction class, a couple of hours. That will be in June. Um, I will... Right now, uh, the space is to be determined, but okay. I will be posting that soon. So uh, whoever wants to sign up for my newsletters or contact me through email, which you'll find that on the website as well, I will be posting I will be posting that. Okay. You know, and we will also post um, information. I will keep my people updated on this yeah. as we go. Okay. Um, send <clears throat> the, the link. Yeah. Send the link. Mm -hmm. And I will also, wherever I post this, I'll put a link to your website. Yeah. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is um, denverartclass.com. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. we are both located in the Denver area. Yes. However, Yes. We also do uh, Skype consultations, true? Yep. Yes. Absolutely. So we'll do things. If you're yeah. in Timbuktu, we will still talk to we you. We will still talk help to you. Help you paint. Help yeah. you get healthy. And look, even if you're in Colorado and don't want to leave, you can still... <laughs> You can still, we can still do that over Skype too. You're like, you know what? Today, Satira, I'm not getting out this bed. That's right. right. That's right. I, I, let's do the, the I love coaching. I love it. And, and that's part of your self care. So that I is. will honor that. That's as wonderful. long as you can give me a heads up. You call you know? Satira from bed. <laughs> Can't do that with painting as easily. Well, yeah. You know, but. Painting in bed. That could painting be in bed. Yeah. You could draw, you could sketch. But... No, but you want to make it so my goal is I love community, mm -hmm. you know, and specifically like community health, yeah. community nutrition, mm -hmm. uh doing group. I do uh group wellness sessions, health coach sessions as well, because it makes it more affordable, the community aspect yeah. of it for people to have social mm. support, which is so huge. Important. That's yeah. really, really huge. Yeah. Um and so, um, yeah, and so the wellness workshop will just be an introduction into wellness uh, for people that are ready to get onto their health path, but not really sure where to go. Yeah. So then we just oh, find, that. we'll just start at the beginning and there will be healthy snacks also. There included. will be snacks. Did you hear that? Yes. There will be snacks. Yes. Yeah. So look out for that. Nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else we need to cover? I think we covered we covered it all. Yeah. Good job. This was great. This was Tabitha, great. Thank you. I'm so I'm just happy to be on your first episode. Yay, first episode. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Satira. Thank you. Thanks yes. for watching. Bye. Bye.